Unique layouts can make your website look and feel more professional. In this video, we're gonna go over this unique layout that is super easy to do in just under six minutes. First, we're gonna take a look at some examples and see how they did it, and then we're gonna dive into Webflow and build it ourselves. Let's get started. So these are the two examples that we're gonna go with here. We have orto.com, which has this hero header here with some text, and then they have some images within the text that kind of show some different things about what they're trying to talk about. And then we also have this starfa, designinternational.com slash design. Links to everything is gonna be in the description, by the way, if you guys wanna check it out. But they also have a very similar section here where they have a bunch of text and then images that separate the text blocks. So we're gonna take a look at how we can actually do this using a blank Webflow canvas here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started just by creating a simple div block. I'm gonna give it a max width of 80 rem just so that we can stay consistent here with some sizing. I'm gonna center it using the auto and I'm just gonna push it in the middle, something like 40 rem. Eh, maybe a bit less. So now that we have this div block, the way that you actually create this effect is actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna start by adding a text block here, just a very simple text block. I'm gonna give it a class of span-text. We'll give it maybe six rems, and then a height of 1.2, and then a dash. And now we can see that it's starting to formulate this, this text block here. And I'm gonna type in something like the word example, and then we're gonna to go to the parent element using the up arrow key, go into a flex block, and for columns, we're just gonna type in one rem by one rem, and we want the children to wrap. So, so that is gonna allow anything inside of that div to be able to wrap. When we have this text band here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click copy and paste. And because our parent block here, our div block, we'll call this parent wrap. Because this has a gap of one rem by one rem, everything is going to be able to be wrapping proportionally and it's not gonna be a stacking or nothing like that is, is happening here. So once we have that ready, we can go ahead and click on the text that we want. So for example, we're gonna pretend that we are doing this one for now. So we see that we have your customer data and then this green imagery here. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and we're gonna wrap it in a div block. So now this div block is wrapped and we can call this wrap div text something like that. And then within this, we can go ahead and just add an image, just a very simple image, and we can give all of the same type of spacing here and align it into the middle. Now, one thing that we do need to do in this case is gonna be make sure that our alignment is either on the left side or on the right side or in the center, I mean, depending on what type of section you wanna build here. So for this case, we can just do the center if we want to, or just the left, so we'll, we'll stick with the left for this case. And we also want it to be centered in this alignment here, just so that if we do this type of alignment, we see that the text goes all the way up instead of centered with the rest of the text. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I think that this text is a little bit big, so maybe we can do something like four rems. Okay, so now we start to see a little bit more about what we're trying to do here. So as we go ahead and copy and paste this span, and maybe we can grab this one and paste it here, we can start to paint a picture of how we could do this on a bigger scale, right? I was gonna go ahead and move this upwards here. I'd click on this wrapper. So now we can see more or less what we're trying to do here. So if I was to copy this, what we'd have to do is write it word by word. So journeys made, and then imagine that there's an image there, simple. So now that we have this image, we can pretty much add anything we want. But for this example, we're just gonna give it a simple class of image, a width of maybe 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Looks like too much, maybe 150 by 150. Okay, maybe 100 by 100, something like this. So it's quite small. We can repeat that with this class. And now, once we go ahead and preview this, we can see that the images are staying there. The journeys made simple is also staying there. And if we wanted to continue this over the entire text box, we can go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here we can go ahead and put in your customer. And because these are individual text spans, but they have the same class, if you wanted to give it a different color or bold or something like that, then one thing that we can do is either duplicate the class and give it a complete new name. So for example, this can be our green text span, or we can ignore what I just said right there and give it a combo class. So for example, we're gonna call this green. And now we can go ahead in here into the color, click on the green, give it a nice little lemon lime vibe going here. So now we have a 
it's getting there, you know, it's getting there. So this is a very easy way of building this type of design. If we wanted to go ahead and remove this combo class, we can do that and we can type in whatever word we want. So we can do example again or above or any type of word that we can find within our examples. And if we wanted to go ahead and build the second version here, so we have the center text, the easiest way to do this is just justify it to the center, make sure that all your text is also centered. And now the text blocks are going to be similar to the examples that we said here. So if I wanted to go ahead and copy this image, give it the same existing class, we can see that we can really start to build this up pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna sci-fi is your, you can also use, you can type in a sentence maybe inside of a text wrap, but the limitation with that is gonna be that it's not gonna wrap as easily. So it's not gonna be wrapping word by word when it reaches the limit of that div block. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this type of design is that it's not commonly used as an H1 or as a hero header. In this case, in our example here, they used it as their hero header, but this is not actually their H1. If we go into the inspect element here, we can see that this is just a simple span and pretty similar example to how we did it. So use this with a grain of salt and try to do it more the way that these guys did it where it's in the middle of the page, it's a feature section, it's not necessarily the, the H1 because it's hard to build this with heading elements. So if you guys wanna dive into more Webflow tutorials like this one, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like and comment what you wanna see next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.